let's get into the lesson. So today I wanna to talk about two very simple minor pentatonics that will really transform the way you play over Breezin, but also any song that you wanna add a bluesy element to. Just for context, the George Benson song Breezin is D, B minor, E minor to A7 or A sus. So it's a one, six, two, five, one type of progression. Basically stays in the key of D. That's really what you need to know for this. The first pentatonic we're gonna discuss here, and this is what I'm gonna call the pretty pentatonic, is B minor pentatonic. Some people think about it as D major pentatonic. I prefer to think about all my pentatonics as minor pentatonics. So just get to this basic pentatonic box right here on the seventh position. Now that is the majority of what Benson is playing over in various ways. He's playing through this B minor pentatonic sound. And let me demonstrate that a little bit for you just so you can get an idea in your ears what this pretty pentatonic sounds like. That's the general sound of B minor pentatonic over this, and that's great. But what if we want to add in a little bit more of that Benson blues sound? And then this is the whole secret here. We trade off from this B minor pentatonic position and we go to D minor pentatonic. Now there's a couple more secrets to this that will really take this to the next level, like how exactly to use it, I'm gonna show you. But that next pentatonic is what I call the bluesy pentatonic for this and that's D minor pentatonic. Now let me show you what just D minor pentatonic sounds like over this same progression. It doesn't fit over perfectly with some of the chord changes, but that's kind of the point. We want that tension, that's what gives it the blues type of sound. That's what this sounds like. So you can see like in bursts, it really sounds good, but after a while, it's a little bit too much. So what's the solution here? Well, what Benson does when he's soloing over this, and you can take a look at his actual solo on Breezin, is he pairs the two. One of the secrets here is that the contrast between this pretty pentatonic of B minor and then going into D minor pentatonic for a little bit of the blues flavor is what combined creates a really unique sound. I like to think about it like B minor pentatonic is the main course. It's the main way you sound like you're in this key of D major. And then when you need that little bit of spice, when you want to add in that flavor, you go into the D minor pentatonic and you can figure out specific ways of doing that. I'll show you guys some specific ways, certain notes that I like to go into. One element here that's really important that I'll demonstrate is that we want to go into that bluesy D minor pentatonic when it's really the end of a phrase. It sounds best as that little extra bit to ramp up the end of your phrase. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. I'm gonna play over mostly B minor pentatonic and I'll make it obvious by sticking in these boxes. So when I'm here, this is gonna be that pretty pentatonic and when I go up, you'll know I'm in that bluesy sound. It'll be really clear to your ears. Let me demonstrate that. Pretty pentatonic. As the solo develops, I'm gonna to wanna to stay 
more into the blues side to kind of drive up that tension and really start to take the solo up to a higher point. That's one way you can do that is using harmonic sounds that increase the tension and also seem to drive something to a higher peak. So another thing here, when we're looking at D minor pentatonic, I wanna give you guys some specific things to actually implement on this. One note that's really great to use in combining the D minor pentatonic and the B minor pentatonic, when you wanna get that blue sound is this F natural and bending it into the F sharp. So like F to D, and when you wanna slide back into the pretty sound, slide that F into F sharp. So let me demonstrate that a little bit. So blue sound. And now I wanna go to pretty. F sharp. Blues. So that little F slide into F sharp is a great way to go from blues back into the pretty sound. Another one, is making use of the common tones between B minor pentatonic and D minor pentatonic. So a couple that we have here. D is in B minor and D minor pentatonic. Also the A works between D minor and B minor. Other than that, those other notes are the more blues sound. So if I want to get a more blues sound, I'll use that C natural. I'll use the G and the F. Because they're not in the other scale, our ear will recognize that and want to associate it with the bluesy sound. You can use some of the same double stops and all of that will be helpful between one pentatonic to the other. So if I'm in B minor pentatonic and I like doing like, which I actually showed in my previous Benson lesson, which I'll put up here for you guys to check out. So say that, I can use that riff in both of these pentatonics. Let me demonstrate that. sound and blues see I couldn't help myself I had to slide back into the F sharp so taking some of the double stops and some of the ideas that I had in that previous lesson applying to this will also be great some of the lines that I played at the beginning some of these fast lines. I actually teach you those in my brand new Fast Jazz Lines Challenge, 28 Days to Fast Jazz Lines Challenge. You can check out the details below. It's already opened up for early access, but for the normal access, it starts April 3rd. If you're watching this afterward, it's still gonna be available at the link below. You get a discount if you're one of the first 100 people to buy. So people have already started buying. So at the time of this video, there still should be some of those accessible. If you wanna get some more lines to apply over this, that is a great way to do that, those fast jazz lines. And just to wrap this up, I'll kind of go between this pretty sound and the blue sound, and I want you to listen for when I'm making that shift. So I'm not gonna specifically tell you, and it's not gonna be obvious based on my hand position, because I'm gonna go across the whole fretboard. So just try and notice when I'm making that shift harmonically, and this will help you when you're listening back to Benson solos, when he goes to these other ideas. And this is something that not only Benson does, but also guys like John Mayer and a bunch of other people in other genres, especially guitarists. So it's something to watch out for across many genres beyond jazz. So let's just kind of solo this out and I hope to see you guys in the next lesson. Let's listen to this. <laughs>
See you guys in the next one.